It's about a sort of fundamental question really about London, which is, has always been mixed and it's always had opportunities for ordinary people to live in nice places because of that. And what we feel is they want rid of us, don't we? Shirley and Maxine live on the Queen Caroline estate in West London. Their borough, Hammersmith and Fulham, has some of the highest property prices in Britain. It also has a lot of social housing. Their council is a Tory local government flagship. Some residents believe that its regeneration plans involve removing them from their homes against their wishes and out of the borough altogether. Under the guise of empowering people, it's all about disempowering people. It's about getting rid of secure tenancies. I do agree about mixed communities, but what I mean by mixed community I think is quite different from what this council means, and they don't mean people like us. The council is led by Stephen Greenhalge, a Tory grassroots hero and a favourite of the leadership. I think housing is very, very important and we should have a mature debate. And At a fringe meeting at the Tory conference this week, Greenhalge set out his vision for lifting council tenants out of dependency. I resent the idea that the Labour Party has some kind of monopoly on dealing with the aspirations of the dispossessed. My mother was a refugee at the end of the Second World War and had to beg for food. We do need more housing of all types in ten years, but the biggest and, and simply the most important priority for us in Hamilton and Fulham is to build for the middle. It's probably a bit like all the high value areas, because private renting is expensive. Private renting is three or four hundred pounds a week. Getting on the housing ladder is bloody difficult unless you're a millionaire. So we've got to build for the middle if we want to have mixed communities and we believe in social mixing. They talk about people having a stake in their home and that it's only if people have a stake. And what they mean by a stake is, is a mortgage. As if you don't have a stake in your home, if you don't own it, or if you don't have a mortgage, because you don't own it until you finish a mortgage. We have such a stake in our homes and in our communities. But the ones that have been flagged for develop, redevelopment seems to be the ones by the river, by Westfield Shopping Centre, by Earls Court. And if it was a case of there were really was this problem, how comes the ones that they've, they've highlighted for redevelopment seems to be the ones that will get them the most return? But how do you actually, even with you the incentives... again? Mm. Yeah, wonderful. How um, with the incentives... Greenhalders declined to be interviewed by us. When I asked him to clarify what would happen to tenants whose homes might be knocked down, he didn't provide reassuring detail. Especially for you. I've got a copy of the guarantee, so um, that, that's, that's very important. Well, the question is, will like alike? That's yeah. the question. Well, actually, will their choice be limited um, to no, other well, it's, types? It's, 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 the, 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 why are we going to politics, Dave? No, it's... Why going to politics right. is because we, we want to try and get people better housing. So we want to talk to the elderly person on the West Kent estate who might actually be better off in sheltered housing. And I did that the other day. and and we've got to find, find whether we can get him an extra care place. Now that might be ahead of any regeneration plans, but I think what we've got to understand is that this isn't a Hammersmith and Fulham issue. This is actually a, broadly speaking, an inner city issue. Residents want to know if they will be offered a home they like and can afford, how close it will be to their old one, if they might end up having to move to a completely different part of London. When residents themselves questioned Greenhalge, his responses increased their uncertainty. What are your plans for Queen Caroline Street as we speak here today? There, there, there will have been a bunch of discussions with many, many people who have landholding interests adjacent to Hammersmith Embankment is a scheme that hasn't been built I'm up. I'm talking Queen Caroline Street. Are there, are, have there been discussions about um, de developers coming into Queen Caroline Street? There have been discussions about opportunities to redevelop Queen Caroline Estate. We lost power in 2006. The housing policy was completely reversed. The Tories started uh, stopping people getting onto the housing waiting list. They started selling off all council housing on residential streets. Um, they started um, cutting back on the new build properties with housing associations and almost always fought with Ken Livingstone to try and get uh, less social housing, particularly rented housing. And then we find they've now got plans to knock down three and a half thousand people's homes on all the council estates. Hammersmith and Fulham dispute this account, but Cowan believes that behind the regeneration plans lies a more radical agenda, set out in a pamphlet that Greenhalge co-authored for a think tank. 
it says things like people who live in social housing are locked into a dependency and expectancy culture. It says that they should start charging most people market rents. They should end their secure tenure. Some of the estates you've just seen are little more than barracks for the poor. You know, these are really strong views. David Cameron has promised bold new housing legislation within a year of entering number 10. Conservatives insist they want to bridge the gap between rich and poor, but some of those they claim to want to help have yet to be convinced. You don't do it by ghettoising people into the suburbs and you know giving areas like this over to rich people who only want us to come in and clean their homes or look after their children, but they don't want us living alongside them. And I think that's a very dark future. The reason I love London so much and Hammersmith so much is because it is so mixed. Well, I've got friends on the estate who are all very different and I think it's terrific. It's terrific for us, it's terrific for our kids, um, for London as a whole. And if we lose that, we lose London.